I have a story I want to tell you. I have come to be in a very beautiful place called White Mountain in New Mexico. I think it's the perfect place from which to tell you this story. The Mescalero Apache tribes have been telling important stories here about life for many centuries. Two years ago, after a John Mayer Battle Studies concert in Vancouver in 2010, I started writing a new story, a screenplay for a movie. It's a story of two people who come to know each other through their art and in universal ways that have seemed like a dream coming to life. The two characters haven't met yet, but there's a reason why they haven't met. The two characters can't know each other until life itself is transformed. This is the story of how that happens. Ashra had come to live in Mexico because her family had to let her go. You see, she was born with a wonderful secret. She had to keep it a secret because some people would think it was a sign, religious or otherwise and other people would try to profit off of her. And so she kept herself bound tightly so that no one could see. Christopher is a famous author who came on a book tour to Mexico where Ashura worked in her grandmother's bookshop. When Christopher walked in front of the group, he was the most beautiful, soulful human being, and his words could touch every person in the room. Ashra couldn't believe the depth of his beauty. He wanted to be writing something real. He might have been famous for writing romances, but he was a brilliant writer and knew there had to be something more. The next morning after the book reading, Christopher came back into the bookshop while Ashra was still upstairs in her bedroom. He had come back to see the photographs that were all around the room hanging on the walls of the bookshop. Ashra's grandmother Paula told him that they were Ashra's and offered to show him her photography studio that was upstairs. While Ashra hid in her bedroom, Christopher walked around her studio looking at her photography that was of life in Mexico. Ashra could hear him outside her doorway and she couldn't let him see her. They stood there so close, and then he walked away. Back downstairs, he asked Paula to have Ashura send him some of her work. Later, when Paula gave Ashura the message, she held the address in her hands. She picked up his book and began to read his words. She wondered what to send him. I've been writing to you from my mountain, writing you this story that maybe you'll tell your children. I used to think that this story was about coming to life, about waiting for that moment. And over the course of time, I got to see that it was about discovering what is real and it took two years to go inside and go further and to let the story lead me to this place. And from here, I can finally see our garden. In coming to know these places, I've come to see what it means to watch something bloom. And I wonder at seeing you, how one could take in such beauty. Um, I know I had to be here. I had to write this story and to say, go inside, go see for yourself where the wonders are. And 
don't stop until you're ready to go down the mountain with something beautiful.